Let me give you a different answer. Um, I, I don't know that I would do anything different. I, I like to think that I am what I am because of what I've done. So maybe it would be somewhere else if I would have done something differently. Um, I do, um, sometimes I do regret I didn't take enough biology and chemistry courses. And, you know, I didn't need them. And now bioinformatics is incredibly hot. That is impossible to even get close to that without having it somewhat strong. So one thing that, that I would tell anybody is don't, don't pick your courses, and probably most of you are graduating soon, so it doesn't matter to you, but don't, don't pick your courses based on what you really like. Take a couple that are far out there away from what you like and suffer through them and learn them because you'd be surprised what that brings to your background and opens doors down the road. I mean, I, I did a lot of course selection based on I'm good in economics, I'm good in politics, and I took this very eclectic number of courses, which is great, I enjoyed it, it, it makes what I am, but it also closed some doors because I stayed away from some things that, that maybe you know would have been good for you. Um, the other advice that I would tell you is, um, and particularly in any of you that get anywhere near technology, Technology changes so fast that you cannot even pretend like you know anything. Um, I, I have a very simple rule. Anytime I hear something mentioned twice, I stop and go look it up. And it happens all the time. Social networking is one of the ones that I, about six months ago, I thought, okay, I better start reading about this thing. This is not gonna go away. I've heard it in two very different contexts by two very different people. Time Magazine had an article in it. I gotta get up to speed on it. Um, and that, that sort of serves you well because it's not so much I'm interested in this because then you would just only do the things you're interested in, but it's more of you know what is it that people are talking about what is the new thing that's out there and it somewhat keeps you young I don't know if that's true or not but I like to think it is I don't think I want to reiterate I don't know how many of you are not born here those of you who basically had to learn English for the sake of coming to school here, I strongly recommend and uh, take non-technical courses. Take uh, courses that help you to read, write, even though you can speak English, but definitely take courses that improve your English. Right now, if I had the choice to go back, me, I was trying to refuse to take those courses. It was very difficult. Uh, as as Manuel said, I was keep focusing, oh, I'm good in math and physics. Help with the, taking a theater class or geography or sociology. I regret now because when it comes to writing, I always have to have someone to write it for me. One of them is sitting right there. <laughs> I can't write. I mean, I can write, but if I want to send and write a professional email, I just have to have someone write it for me. And during the college, I always had one of my girlfriends just, just write it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got spoiled. And I'm paying the price now. I'm so depending on someone writing something for me. So if you want to be dependent like, like me, take my path. Otherwise, uh, I strongly suggest take care. Uh, and non-technical courses, also business courses. That, that job that I said I was software idea manager, the guy hired me because he said he was the, I was the only person that can do C++ and speak English. <laughs> <laughs>